the CEO and Managing Director of Ravenswood Gold. I've been with the company since um, since it was created about um, four and a half years ago now. So we're looking to really you know, to, to ramp the operation up um, you know, three or four fold um, from what it had been in previous years. Our biggest challenge prior to the Photon Assay coming on site was getting assay results back on time. The system that we had in place with our on-site lab was too slow to keep up with production. So we had to compromise on, on our grade control systems. So there was an added handling issue and there would have been a cost issue on top of that. We used to use a method called the pulverise and leach. So it leached and pulverised at the same time. It's a destructive method. So the samples, once you just analyse that sample, the sample is gone, time consuming, because with the old uh, methods, we were just spending a lot of time just analysing samples. The reporting was also very manual. A lot of uh, human involvement in the reporting of the assays results. Obviously for us, speed is important. We do sort of, we were planning to do sort of 17,000 assays a month. So we needed high volume, quick turnaround, particularly with our um, grade control drilling. The other thing that was really important to us was would, would but on assay allow our results to be dual compliant. And obviously it had to be accurate. We sent some assays off to Chris Oss to get them to test it. We actually sent some, some samples off to one of the labs that had a photo on assay machine without them knowing um, to see if we could get um, a similar result. We just went through independent laboratories, checked the assays versus the photon assays, and then they all came back very, very good as in favor of the photon assay. So I was a bit, you know, skeptical, I'm like, yeah, is this gonna, is this job compliant? Is it, can we report the assays um, based on this method? Um, so I had to do a few studies there um, just to test the accuracy and the precision of the photon. I, t I got 100 samples from one interval with high grade. All the 100 samples, they had a better correlation for photon than for fire assay. Why? The fire assay uses 50 gram um, sample charge, 50 gram as against 500 grams. Overall, you know, mathematically and statistically, <laughs> remarkably, we actually satisfied ourselves that, you know, the photon assay was much more accurate than what we were currently doing. We got a lot of comfort around, particularly some of the other companies that were using um, the photon assay technology for their jaw reporting. Then we looked at the economics and remarkably, um, not only did it meet all of the needs that we had, that it's actually going to be a cheaper solution for us in the order of, you know, five to ten percent cheaper. The photon uh, assays is, is a game changer. We cannot be leave other points. We've got one on site. It's just a stone throw away. If anything happens, I can just walk up to the lab, retrieve all the jars. The jars are not destroyed. The samples are not destroyed. We gather reports in a timely fashion. Turnaround of sometimes 24 hours can allow us to make adjustments, um, can allow us to add extra holes if we need to, to get more data back. It has been a game changer for Ravenswood and our grade control systems on site. And we found since we've moved to photon assay, some of our processes have become much more efficient, especially when handling some of our um, processing uh, plant samples. So basically from start to finish within four hours, we can have double the amount of results out. Being in an on-site lab and having photon assay, it's um, enabled us to give feedback to our business partners on results. And some of those obviously need to be done in a timely manner because they have machinery waiting to dig, they have drillers waiting to drill, and blast teams waiting to blast. So getting those assays back to them quite rapidly compared to having to send them away for assay is quite important to them. Look, I think from my perspective, the um, what the photon assay did for us was just take away the, the chaos. You know, uh, an operational environment, it's a, a sequence of events that has to happen in a certain amount of time. Delays on assay just, you know, it's like a domino effect and it puts a lot of pressure on the team. You're not making the best decisions that you could be making tired and they're not being out in a position where you can pull, plan. So, you know, that for me uh, and my team has been the real game changer. From the feedback we were getting from our colleagues in the various departments of exploration, mining and metallurgical processing, the data quality 
uh, and confidence in making critical decisions and improved immensely. Team have all been easy adopters of it. I mean, everyone from you know the guys that work in the lab to you know the metallurgists to the exploration geologists to the, you know the mine geologists and mining engineers. Everybody's really got on board. When we first got the photon assay machine here, I think we had 4,000 overdue assays. Um, at the moment, we would run basically overdues of zero. It's helped us go down a pathway where instead of having the highly variable reconciliations, we've got highly accurate reconciliations. That adds a lot of value, as anyone would know. And so it's become a bit of a symbol, I guess, of you know, just what, what you can do if you adopt technology early, uh, identify the problems that you may have and how you sort of integrate that technology into to solving the problem. You know, we're not a company that wants to design new technology, but we're definitely a company that wants to, wants to use it cleverly in the future.